Well, we're continuing our special series on, of reports on school food. The School Food Initiative has been a big gift to schools on the Central Coast, helping them get back to cooking from scratch and giving students a healthy dose of good food. Jennifer Mandalay joins us as she does every Wednesday with today's School Food Report. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Arturo, this mm -hmm. is one present that students do not want to return. If you like pizza, do you love pizza? I love pizza, yes. You will <laughs> love pourable pizza. <laughs> want to make sure that we incorporate all the ingredients. Whipping up a favorite school food in a whole new way with whole wheat. And here's how it gets its name. This is it, pourable pizza crust. The old school pizza doesn't look like this. It looks like this. Boxed, frozen, loaded with sodium, fat, preservatives, and other additives. The principal knew the grease was not good. I thought, wow. Uh, so many of the box pizzas, the, the students will put a napkin on the top of it before they eat it. Pourable pizza is different. It's a new recipe for El Camino Junior High, a gift from the School Food Initiative through the Orfila Foundation. The initiative is working to improve school lunch and create healthy habits for life. The food service director was intrigued by the idea. I said I just have to watch and see and you know, pouring out of something. I don't know what we're pouring, but it should be good. Good for all the things you can't see. And just pour all your sauce right on top. This really pours on the health benefits. Wait until you hear what's hidden in the special sauce. We have yellow squash, green squash. Uh, we have carrots, celery, onion and garlic. All sauteed and blended with fresh tomato. You cannot see it. You do not know that there are veggies in here. Top with real cheese and even more fresh local organic vegetables. Well, I hope the students like it. Taste testing is part of the recipe. It's excellent. I'm good. Now the verdict is in the hands of the students. Making them part of the process empowers them to make better food choices. It's good for the kids because the kids are eating too much junk food right now. They're eating like chips and soda and it's like really bad for their health. Sounds good, but will they really eat healthy pizza? Best pizza ever. Better than my mom's. Just kidding. <laughs> we know he's not joking. How many pieces did he have? Four. I'm going to make five right now. And Alexis is pouring on the compliments. It's might as well not eat hot Cheetos. I'd rather eat this. It's healthier for you. Girls make big muscles. Alexis isn't the only student ready for more. You want some more pizza? Yeah. I got one. I got one. I got one. I'll have some of that pizza yes. too. Yeah, that looks really good. A word of warning though. Mm -hmm. No matter how healthy, you should never, ever eat five pieces right. of pizza. <laughs> Local food service workers are learning that if they actually put out fresh whole food, children will eat it mm -hmm. and even like it better. And Arturo, I, I promise you, I brought you a piece of that pizza. All right. I put it in the KCOY refrigerator. Okay. Someone ate it. Oh. Can you believe it? What'd you expect? Okay, so we have this now. This, I understand you're mm -hmm. on Santa's nice list. There was that one day, but he's not counting oh, okay. that. So <laughs> overall, you're on the nice list. All right, that's good, that's good news. Okay, yeah. this is the nice list of foods. Mm -hmm. They contain the least amount of pesticides. They're actually called the Clean 15. It's brought to us by the Environmental Working Group. And these are the fruits and vegetables you should try to eat more of. Mm -hmm. If you eat other fruits and vegetables, you should try to wash, peel, or mostly buy organic. Okay. So these are the fruits and vegetables, okay. asparagus, That's a huge kiwi, variety of stuff there. a lot of things, oh. cabbage. So uh, the things that you should add to your holiday shopping list. Number one, the least amount of pesticides and onion. Ah, sweet, okay. sweet onion. Sounds good to me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. And to learn more about the healthy changes taking place in schools on the Central Coast, thanks to the School Food Initiative, you can go to our website and click on School Food in the big red box.